Breaking news coming in as far as the forgery of signatures uh, and the allegation of forgery of signature actually was leveled against uh, Ahmadmi Party MP Raghav Chadda as far as the Delhi Services Bill is concerned. Now, Delhi Services Bill face-off uh, obviously escalates and we have a word coming in from Ahmadmi Party. They have spoken now about the forgery of signature actually and the allegations that were leveled against uh, Raghav Chadda. They said that there is no requirement of the signature at all so there is no question of forgery at all and the Ahmadmi party sources that Raghav Chadda nowhere provides that there is a requirement of a written consent or signature of the member whose name has actually been proposed to be included uh, to be in the selected committee and no signature is actually required at all of the proposed members for the selected committee. We have a word coming in from Raghav Chadda himself. Let's take a look. Letter, letter, letter notice be given, I will respond to it. No signature is needed. This is more than a sambidhanic and loktantric bill that has not been brought to the country of India. We have legislatively fought a strong fight. You have seen that the India Block has been brought to the right of 100 India Block and the right of this bill. We can be able to legislatively fight against this strong sambidhanic अलोकतांत्रिक बिल को रोक रोकने में सफल नहीं हुए हों, लेकिन जुडिशियली कोर्ट कचहरी में हम पुरजोर लड़ाई लड़ेंगे। But to give us more details on that, I have CNN News 18's Rupashi joining me on the broadcast. Rupashi, a very good morning to you. We just heard Raghav Chadda talking about, you know, that uh, no consent or actually signature is not required at all for a proposed committee. What details do we have about that? Well, uh, according uh, to sources, uh, the, we have uh, actually we have gathered that according to the rules of procedure and conduct of business in the Council of States, written signature is not required. And since written signature is not required, that there is no question of forged signatures. And select committee actually consists of non-partisan members. That is, it uh, consists of members which are drawn from all parties, including uh, you know uh, parties who, which are opposed to you politically. Uh, so uh, uh, when uh, Raghav Chata gave uh, those names, actually, he, uh, he assumed that there was a consent uh, and uh, he assumed uh, or he based it on presumption of consent. And, uh, the, and he uh, said that uh, because uh, there's a presumption of consent, uh, the name of the, uh, if a member disagrees, the name of the member can also be withdrawn uh, from the select committee. Another important point that, I, that is being made by sources is that the names were given in good faith and the name can also be withdrawn. So those are the key points uh, that, uh, the, the, that uh, you know, uh, uh, we are learning from our sources, which, uh, which, uh, is, which is why uh, Raghav Chadda gave uh, all those names. Remember, it has names of uh, BJP also, it has names uh, from BJD also, Vice RCP and, and other parties also. Uh, so that is uh, what uh, uh, we are gathering from our sources, uh, but uh, this issue is set to snowball in the parliament uh, today. Uh, with uh, five uh, members at least uh, moving a uh, uh, privileges uh, mo motion against uh, uh, Raghav Chatta. Uh, the other important point uh, crucial to note over here is that the Congress Party has come out in support of Raghav Chatta, and Congress Party MP has also said that uh, you know uh, that uh, consent is uh, not required. And uh, once uh, if a member has a uh, different point of view, does not want to be um, a part of a select committee then uh, the name of that person can be withdrawn. That is what we are gathering from our sources for now. Okay, Rupashi, thank you so much for bringing in all those crucial details. Right now, we have some political reactions coming in on the same. Let's take a look. Raghav Chedda has made certain comments and uh, we have countered those comments. Whenever a resolution is to be moved and he has to consult uh, the respective member, uh, the name of the respective member to be included in the uh, uh, in the list of uh, members for the for uh, select committee or whatever committee it is, uh, but he, Raghav Chedda, without consulting the respective member, honourable member, he has included the names of the, some of the members, and one of the one of our party members' name also has been included without the consulting the member. So therefore, some of the members, including our party members, have decided to uh, move the matter move the privilege motion against uh, Raghav Chadda.